Okay, the Amad Aleph is a Prashtika rough tonight. Um, okay, we left off. Where did we leave off? On the Mishnah. On the Mishnah. Lamed Zion Aleph. Lamed Zion Amad Aleph. But a Mishnah, yeah. Okay, Amad Aleph is a shtickle hard. But there's a, towards the bottom some interesting, uh, interesting cases of goring. Okay, so zok the Mishnah, yeah. Shor shu muud lamino yehenemin. So you could have a shor that's a muud for mino and veenemin. I'm sure shor shu muud lamino veenemuud lishenemin. So it's a muud for its type, but it's not a muud for not its type. Right, meaning. He's a he's a highly uh, specialized shor, right? He only goes after his own type, but he won't. You know, go after other oxen. He's not going to go after. Uh, he's not going to go after uh, face dogs, chickens, and that, right? Then you could have an ox that's mood la adam vein a mood la behema. He's a mood for adam, not a mood for behema. Mood la ketanim vein a mood la gedolim. He could be, he could be a mood for small animals and not a mood for large animals. So if he's a muad for those animals, then he pays nezek shalom. And if it's not a muad, then he pays chatzin nezek, right? It's a fairly straightforward, right? Meaning, meaning we don't say that a shar is an automatic muad for all types. Right? Didn't we say, didn't we say yeah. before that a shar is a muad if he's consistent? Correct, but here we're going to see if in the Gemara. If every other every other one, we say he's not a mood. He's he no. We're going to see he's a mood for every other one. No, I'm saying we said if he skips does one, then he skips two, sees two, and then he see then he does then he goes after two, and then he goes then he skips one, and then he goes if he's not consistent. You just get Sholem to shoot it. That's it. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> that we got to do anyways, right? We got we to do that anyways. But uh, yeah, Zev, I don't understand what you're saying. That's exactly the point. It, every time it sees a cow, it gores the cow. But when it sees a, a cat, when it sees a cat, it doesn't gore a cat, right? What's the default, though? This part I didn't get clear. It 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 sees three shards on three different days, whichever way you go, whichever sheet you go. It gores three shards. And then it gores a cat. Is that a mood for the cat or not? Not? Why? It's the first cat it saw. Meaning if Avada, if it gored one cow and then it saw a cat and didn't gore the cat, then it gored a cow and then a cow. Okay, it's not a mood for a cat. But it, it never, it's a mood for the cows. And then it's the first cat it met, it also gored. So now, and now we need to, the burden of proof is that it has to be a mood for each and everything. I'm not so sure. I, I don't know. I'm not so sure. That you, Gershon, you're saying, yeah? So you're saying it's innocent until proven guilty for every type of animal. How do you know that this this ox is a is a is a, is a, is a cat mood? Because <laughs> he's an oxymoron. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not Purim, but the, you left it out there. So <laughs> how do you know it's what? Well, what are you saying? It's not it's not. Okay, it's not. How do you know it's a cat mood? I I thought that if it's a mood for for the assumption is is that if it's a mood for all animals, if it's a mood for one thing, it's automatic mood. At for others too, unless it passes them by and it doesn't gore them. Right, that's what I thought. No, I think it only becomes a mood for other animals if it goes three animals rather than three, three short current. Three of the same or three different? No, three different. Shurkhamer Gummo is the case of Mood Lakoil. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Well, I. Yeah. Um... Uh... Okay, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see, but I don't think we're going to see the answer beferish. Either way, but that, but what's clear that went on in this mission until now is that it saw a shar, it gored it. It saw a cat, it didn't gore it. It saw another shar, it gored it. 
I saw a cat. It didn't mean it's not goring the cats. Right? So then, fine. So that's the first case. So Amr Lufnei, Amr Lufnei, Rabbi Yehuda, Harezem Muad, Lishabasas, Veinem Muad Lachal. Right? You could have Mamish a Shabbos Dikashar. It's only a Muad on Shabbos, right? The, the Cholin gets to it. Right? Yeah? Uh, or actually, the truth is, Tysus, you see the Tysus, second Tysus down. Right? He says, because. I didn't know we have such smart axes. Oh, they, I, that's what I'm saying. This whole thing, like, you know, you put a red thing in front of an ox and it makes it run after, which I think is a farce, but I don't know. You see, there's some truth to it, meaning he sees them in nicer clothes than he's used to seeing them. So Mamele, he thinks they're strangers and he goes after them. Right. If you bring the fox to the Middle East, he doesn't. He can't tell. You know what I mean? What? You bring the ox <laughs> to the Middle East, he can't tell. Yeah. I don't um, know. Yeah. yeah. So whatever it is, but that's so on Shabbos. He what, goes they have crazy. Shabbos suits for their cows. These people. What? They put Shabbos clothes on their cows. So I was learning. I was thinking that it means. It means uh, humans. He sees the humans, Abba, that we're in Shabbos. So he's going after humans. Yeah. Um, maybe he goes after the animals. I don't know. Maybe because he sees the humans. Maybe, maybe... he sees the humans wearing Shabbos clothing, so he goes after the ox. Is that what it's shot is? I, I, is that shot? What? No, you could be a you could be a, you could be a mood for for people too. Is it uh, my shvez asking? Is it is it the people or is it the ox? I, mean, I think it could be either one. I think it could be either one. I Meaning, is the ox seeing all the strimelchad on the streets and the mela? He says, "Okay, I'm going to go after the ox because it's Shabbos and it's not yontif." Um. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Uh, it could also be the challenge. Right? Right? But anyway, I don't know. You have to see, you have to know how it works. But either way, they're asking Rabbi Yehuda, raise a mood for Shabbos. Right? Is it a mood for Shabbos? Right? But it's not, it's meaning they basically saw, they went to an uh, animal psychologist and he figured out that the animal is only. It's only goring on Shabbos. It's not goring during the week. So is there such a thing as that? For Shabbos, you pay Nezek Shalim. And for the week, you only pay Chatzin Nezek. So he says, yeah. So Rabbi Huda answered them. Yes, it's possible. So then how does it go back to Tam? It goes three Shabbos in a row. Right? And it sees either people... Or or shvarim, right? And memela, and it doesn't gore them. So you go three shabbos in a row, and then memela goes back to a top. So there's all shaila in the mafarshim what what the chiddush is here of coming. That's posh. Well, we already said when the when the shar sees three other animals, and it uh, and it doesn't gore, so it goes back. Right, but the point is, is that we're looking at the uh, what's the word for this inside? Uh, we're looking at the psyche, we're trying to figure out if it's possible. To have a shor like this, it's, and we're going to see in Ahmed Bey's that has to do with Nida also, right? Um, meaning certain women can have strange cycles. Is it is it possible that that cycle taka means that it's a, it's a legitimate kvias of a cycle, or is it just a freak thing? I once had a woman who had a set cycle. She saw three months in a row on the same English day of the month, right? Same English day of the month. So the guy thought it's a pattern. It's not a pattern. It's a shtus. It's a flu it's a fluke, because the English day of the month has to do with the solar calendar. Has nothing to do with the lunar calendar. It's just a fluke thing, right? So that's what the Gemara is trying to figure out. If an animal is goring on Shabbos and not during the week, during the week, not on Shabbos, what's considered a a legitimate a legitimate uh, thing, and what's what's not? Okay, we'll get back to that. Zogli Gemara, Itmar, 
So, yeah, so we have a, a little bit of a complicated machloikis here. So the question is, how? what's the Lushan of the Mishnah? Itmar of Zvid, Omar Ve'enoimuud. Tanan. You learn in the Mishnah Ve'enoimuud, right? Meaning it says, Sharshu Muud Laminoi. We're going back, looking back to the Mishnah. It says, A Shar that's a Muud for its min. Ve'enoimuud Lashainoiminoi. So is that Ve'enoimuud Lashainoiminoi? Is that a psak? Or is that part of the question? So Omar of Zvid. Uh, it says, It says, Meaning, you have to prove that it's not a muud for other types of animals. Right? But stama, it is a muud, which is basically, I think, Answering the question that we discussed in the Mishnah, meaning when it when it gored three types of an, three animals, do we say that it's a muad now for all other animals, or do we need to prove it again? So it seems like Rav Zvid is saying once it gored for three, right? Then it's then it's automatic, right? Meaning it's automatic for other animals too until proven otherwise. Rav Papa Amar ain't a muad tenan. It says, Ainamud, the stoma, loy havi muud. It's the opposite. The stoma, it's not a muud. Yeah? So that's the, that's the machlag. Because again, according to Rabbi Zvid, it says, Ve'enamud, which means that the, once it gores three times, it gores all the way. Then we assume that it's a muud for everything. And Rapapa is saying that it's not, it says, Ainamud, which means that stoma, it's not a muud. Sort of like what I think what was Gershon was saying. Okay, so Razid Daik me save a Papa Daik Marisha. Each one has a diak from from the mission. The public a new danger. This thing. What? Well, well, I mean, it's it's yeah. It is. It is a danger. <laughs> so what are you saying? You have somebody should talk. Have Shalom shoot it. What would this thing's work? He don't. He doesn't. He doesn't go a fat people. Only go skinny people. He only goes ladies, not men. Shoot it and get rid of it. It's an animal. Well, it depends. If it went after people, we're going to shoot it. If it went after animals, we're not going to shoot it. But then we're going to hold the guy. We're going to hold the guy liable. That's all, right? Anyway, so let's see. Rizid Daik Misev, Rizid Papa Daik Marish, Rizid Daik Misev, the Katani Muud, the Katani Mvene Muud, the Gadol. It says in the Mishnah that it could be a Muud for for Katani for small animals, and not a Muud for large animals. I am Rabbi Shlomo Vaini Muud Katani. If you say that the Mishnah says Vaini Muud, Hostam may have a Muud. Then stama zayit to muud, right? Or kamashal on the filum mikatanu legadoy lemnami. So I would tell you that even if it's a muud to to gore small animals, it's going to be a muud for large animals. Mustama havi muud, and mustama it's going to be a, to be a muud. Meaning, so that's that's the chiddush. Eli yamre ain't a muud ketani. But if you say in the Mishnah like Rav Papa, which is that it's not a muud, stama loy havi muud. Which means that stam it's not a mood. If you're going to say that if it gourds small animals, and uh, and it's going to be a mood for other animals, stama layavi mood, but stam, it's not going to be a mood. So mekatanim legedoylem tzricha lameimer the layavi mood. Then you need to say a chiddush that from ketanim to gedoylem. Meaning, if you're saying that it's a mood for small animals, but only the type that it gourds. Let's say it gourds a face uh, three sheep. And you're going to say, okay, so it's not a it's not a muad to gore three three cats. So if it's not a muad to gore three cats, avad, it's not going to be a muad to gore three cows, which is way bigger, right? So elamai must be in order to say the chiddush, you have to say that it is a muad, right? And then you then the Mishnah says, meaning the default that is is a muad, but then we're saying, but it's not going to be a muad for large animals, right? Okay, what's Republican answer to that? See, today's Parsha, Parats, right? Parats is not on now, but okay. I tried to get him that Aliyah, but the problem is they gave me the Aliyah before, right? We learned the Mishnah Brura right last week that you give a person Aliyah through the Indian. So they gave me the one before, so I could, couldn't give it to Parats. Okay. <laughs> the, the, I think it was Ravi. Anyways, the Hayal Parats, since he was, there was a Pirtz in that type, Parats bay, right? So I'm sorry. Hoyalu parats bay, bahumina. I read it wrong. Okay. No. Hoyalu parats bay, bahumina. Since it did appear to in that type of min, 
and it and it's it was a pirtz. It it's, uh, it's broke it down. You would think, okay, so once it started goring cows, so it doesn't make a difference if it gored small cows or large cows. We're saying no, it's not a muad. It's also it can also we can also break down being a muad to size. Fine. Rapapa Daik Miresha. Rapa makes the from the first part of the mission. Tani Mudla Adam any mood of Bahama. A muad for an Adam is not a muad for Bahama. Yeah, Bishlama any muad tnan. If you say that it's not a muad stama loy having muad. Stama is it's not a muad. Oh Kamash Malanda, if you look me Adam Le Bahama, not me stama loy having muad. Even from a person to a Bahama, stama is not a muad. Ella Iyam or Bain a muad katani. But um but if you're gonna say that it's not a muad, right? That it's not a muad, hastama havi muad, but the default, the stam is that it is a muad, hashta yeshama behemala behema stama havi muad. If you're gonna say that if it's a muad to gore some behemas, it's a muad to gore other behemas. May Adam la behema trichal mehma davi muad. So from a person to a behema, meaning if it's a muad to go to gore people. So the behema, do you need to say it? The havi muad about it's a ivada is, right? Like we've said a couple of times before, a person has mazel. A person should be able to get out of the way from a shar. If the shar manages to gore a human three times, then for sure it's going to be able to manage to gore a animal three times. Fine. The resha is not talking about creating a muad on the on the shar. It's about taking the muad away from the shar. We're going to have a muad laadam, a muad vehema. This show was very busy. It was moved from Adam and moved to Behema. Behada Behema Behema, and then it saw three animals that didn't gore them. The Koi Gavi Behema Tlasa Zimni Belanagach. It was standing by Behema three times, and it didn't gore the Behema. Mao the same. Akivan the Loi Hada Behema Adam. Since it didn't go back, meaning it didn't see three people and didn't gore it. I mean, it didn't. It saw th- it, it saw three animals and didn't gore it, but it didn't see three people. So since it, uh, it didn't go back on Adam, Chazor the Behemah Lav Chazorah, so then the Chazor on the Behemah is also nothing. Kamash Mulan, the Chazor of the Behemah, Mia Chazorah. The Chazor of the Behemah is a Chazor. Okay, so those are the two proofs. One proof to Razvid, one proof to Rapapa, and how they answer the proofs. So Mesve, Sumcha Saimer, Muad Lad, the Muad of Behemah, Makal Bechaymer. A Muad, if a Shor is a Muad for a, for a person, He's a muad for a behemoth as a kavachim. Ramala Adam, muad, the behemoth, like kol Meaning, if it's for Adam, it's a muad, then for a behemoth, like kol Like we said, a person has mazel, should be able to get out of the way. If it's successful goring the person, then it will be successful goring behemoths. The chlal, the tanakama, and a muad kama. Somchus is saying that it's an automatic if you gore a person, if, if you're a muad for goring people. You're removed for goring animals. So the Tanakama for sure is going to say that. So Amalei Rozvid, Sumchus Achazor Akoi. Sumchus again is also talking about not making them into a mood. It's getting them out of being a mood. This is what Sumchus is telling Tanakama. This that you said, that the Chazor of the Behemoth is a Chazor. Chazor of the Lav Chazor of the Behemoth. So a Chazor of the Behemoth is not considered a Chazor. Because if it didn't go back from people, meaning if it hasn't, if it hasn't walked in front of people and not gored them, be behema like culture. So from a behema, it goes without saying. Right? Right. So basically, what Rav Zud is saying, the Tanakam and Sumchus are having a machlaikis. If something is a mood, if a shar is a mood for, for people and behemas. Right, um, and it goes and it goes back to being a tam for pe- for animals. So then, if that's going to automatically work for people too, okay. So now the Gemara brings two two rayas. Right, so Amar of Ashi to the Torah Zvi Toshima, Amar of Lefnei Rabbi Yehuda. Right, so the the Talmidim asked Rabbi Yehuda, raise a mood for Shabbos. You have something that's a mood for Shabbos, vein a mood for Yemayis Achol, and it's not a mood for weekday. So if it goes and gores on Shabbos, it's going to be Nezek Shalim because it's a mood. And if it gores during the week, it's going to be Chatzin Nezek. So now, if he's saying the Mishnah, 
It says ve'enemur with a vav. So then sheyule who the kumashayule. So it's ve'enemur, right? Which means that the default is, the default is is that it is a mood. So then the talmidim are asking Rabbi Yehuda, is there such a thing as being a mood for Shabbos and not a mood for during the week, right? For who nami kamahadalu when he answered them. But if you say it's any mood, which means that we hold that they're not, it's only a mood for, for what it for what it was a mood for, for what that was established. Were they were they teaching him? Were they teaching him? Meaning they knew the answer. What's he answering them? I meaning they just they told him, they were telling him a statement. I mean, again, if you're going according to Rapapa, that it's if you're a mood for one type, you're not a mood for another type. So what are they telling Rabbi Huda? What are they asking him? It's Pasha. It gored on Shabbos. It didn't gore during the week. Right? So that's one right. Omar of Yanai. May Ray Shanami take We could have a deal like Rabbi Zudos to the Tani as Shemud, Lay Mishalim Nezek Shalim. If it's a mood to him, he pays Nezek Shalim. If it's a mood, Lay Mishalim Chatzi Nezek. And if it's not a mood to him, he pays Chatzi Nezek. Right, um, meaning the type of animal. See, I'm a bishul of ain and mood katani. If you say fit ain and mood, which means that the default is that it is a mood. Prusha come a It's coming to explain this uh, this scenario where it could, where there's a possibility that if it proved that it's not a mood for other animals, so then fine. Eli, I'm a mood katani. But if you say it's ain and mood, right, which means that the default is that they're not that they. Uh, they're not muads, right? If you say ain't a muad, um, right, which means that the, the pashtas is that they're not muad for other things. Paska, right? Then it already was already set up sak. My su es shemuad loy mishalim nesek shalom. You already set up sak that it's not a muad, right? According to our papa, the default is is that it's a muad. Whatever it gores, it's a muad for him. That's it. It's not a mood for anything else. So then why you start with all these other examples in the Mishnah that if whatever it's a mood for you, Penezek Shalem or not, didn't we not tell you this till now? The Hasan Mashalim Chatzin Nezek? That there you pay Chatzin Nezek, a mood Mashalim Nezek Shalem, and you pay Nezek Shalem? So therefore it has to be that the default is that it's that it. It's not a. It's it is a. It is a a mood. Vimtim tzolayma nami isol rapapa, and if you want to say that it goes to like rapapa, right? And meaning again, rapapa is that it doesn't automatically become a mood to all, all other types. Nagav shor chamor begamol. So let's say a gourd, a a shor chamor and a gob, three different types of animals. Nase mood lekol. It becomes a mood for everything, right? Meaning, so now, meaning, till now we were talking about goring three of each, three of each type. Now we're saying a different chiddush. We're saying that it gored one of each type. And our papa would be maskim that if it did that, then it's a muud for all types, right? Um, now the question is, the question is, does that mean it's a muud for all types? Meaning for all those three types, or for all types of animals, right? So that's a very machlaikis of how that goes. Okay, that's the harder part of the daf. Now the rest of the daf gets a little easier. So Tanar Abonah, yeah, three lines up from the bottom. Ra shor nagach, if it sees a shor and it gores, shor loy nagach. And it sees a shor and it didn't gore. Shor nagach, then it, it, it gored another shor, shor loy nagach. So then it went and, and it didn't gore. So it's every other shor, Every other shor it sees, it's goring, right? It's got some serious mental issues here. Shor nagach, shor loy nagach. Nasemud le seirugin le shvarim. It could become a muud for seirugin, meaning every other. Every it's gonna have a it becomes a muud for every other. Every other ox that it sees. But how does that work as far as watching it and everything? You gotta watch. To watch it, it for everything. everything. You gotta watch, it. right? So what? What's the point? So one, you just figure out the payment. Well, it's a matter. It's a matter of how much he has matter to pay. Of payment. That's what it is. It's a matter of pay, payment. Yeah. But that's, so, so that make one guy gets double, one guy gets one. If he, one guy gets chatzin one guy gets oh, uh, 
if he got if he got the wrong guy, yes. If he meaning if his <laughs> shot was the if his right. shot, he was the unlucky one. What? So the short took a rest in between uh, actions. It's no, not that, it's well, just, it's smart or sure, you know. So, so that was tough. He takes a rest, and then he goes starts and starts again the next time. But uh. um, <laughs> well, is that well? If it's just a rest, then then I don't know if you could say it that way. No, because if it's just a rest, then it's still a still a mood. I mean, so it what, has did to it, be. What, what did he do in between? He saw another shore and didn't go it. You mean he's taking a rest? Yeah, I mean, uh, if you say he's taking a rest, then that's not. I guess. I guess he rests for every other one. That's what you're saying. Yeah. No, uh, with a rest, it would be a time-related issue. That's a little sirogi. This is not time-related at all. Oh, um, you mean he could do it all in ten in ten minutes? He could do, he could he he, he could gore five times, but in between each one of those, he didn't. He right. wasn't good. He right, wasn't right, gored. Right. right. Um. Well, they're twenty <laughs> days apart, two years apart. Doesn't matter. Well, the question is how you prove it. Who who can prove that you who, that you were with this shard the whole time? That has to be an Adis. Anyway, that's the Avis. You bring well, two the question shvarim, is like this. You bring two other shvarim to be made. Oh, very good, very good, Rahm. Very good. <laughs> if a shar sees no, if a shar sees two shar, if a shar goes and sees two shars and it gores one of them, is does that count for Sirugin? Right, meaning there's two shars walking down the street. It gores one, and it doesn't gore the other one. Does that count here? It doesn't count. Doesn't count. It has to see them at two separate maybe times. Maybe that short the show owed the money. You know. <laughs> maybe he had he had yeah. or he had pull. He had pull that show. <laughs> or maybe he was wearing a nicer clothing. I think. <laughs> right? Like listen, the Rishami is saying that you wear nicer clothing on Shabbos, it's gonna gore, it's not gonna gore. So you could do the same thing, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, but there is such a concept. Now, so what, what Rashi points out, the second Rashi from the bottom, like what Naftali was saying, if it gores in a row, a few shores, if it gores a few shores in a row, it's only going to pay Chatzin Nezek on the last one because it's only, meaning he's going to do a Nezek Shalim on one and a Chatzin Nezek on the other. You have to keep track. You'd have to keep track. Okay, next case. Tan on a Rosh, Shor Nagoch. It saw a shor and he gored it. Chamar loy nagach. Sus nagach. Gamal loy nagach. Meaning he's switching animals here. Parod nagach. Right? Uh, parrot. I'm sorry. A uh, mule. And it gored the mule. Aroid, which is a wild. Chamar uh, hever, uh, as she says, a wild donkey. Nasim muud. Leserugen lakol. So this one becomes a muud for every other one, but for every type of animal. Because it's basically goring every other animal it sees. So then the next animal up will be a, a, a tom. And the next animal after that, no matter what the animal looks like, it's going to be, it's going to be a muud. Right? Which Tysus points out that it has to be that it didn't say any other animals in between. Because if it saw animals in between, that, might, that would mess up the whole thing. Okay. Now the Gemara has a bunch of interesting shilas. Nogach on Tom Bay's now. Nogach shor shor vishor chamor begomel. Okay, we got that straight. He got an ox and an ox and an ox, three oxen, then a then a chamor, and then a gomel. Right. Right now, it needs the Tysus. Tysus says that in between the first shors, he had to see other animals, and it didn't go it. Right. Because otherwise, the whole thing is if he gore, if he's going straight animals, then the whole shah is not a shah. Again, he gore, he, he gored three shars in a row, and then a chamar and then a gomo. So now, is he a muad? Is he a muad for everything? Meaning, where do you put that middle shar? He gored five times. Shail is the middle shar, middle the middle shar, which is number three. Do you put it towards the first shars? In which case, it's a muad for the shar. 
We put it to the last, in which case it's a muad for all types of animals. So mao. Hai shor basra. The last shor, meaning number three, basra shvarim shadinan lay. We put it with the shvarim. Vakati the shvarim hu de yayit. And it's, it's, and it's a muad for shvarim. The media khrini lay yayit. But for other other muads it's not. For other animals it's not. I dilma hai shor basra. The last show you put it to Hamar and Gomel. And you make it a buid for everything. Right? So that's Shiloh number one. Then we have the flip on the flip side. Hamar, the Gomel, Shar, Shar, Vishar. Right? Mao. Hi, Shar, Kama, Basar, Hamar, the Gomel, Shadinale. We put it Basar, the Hamar and Gomel, the Yayale, the Kulumini, and it's a buid for everything. Or do we say that the middle shor goes with the last two shvarim? Right. The second is not a shayla. The second accord that shor it's a mood for everything. Who? The second accord, the first shor. Why? Because it go to chamor, go to gomor, go to shor. Now it's a mood for all animals. No, but then it went after two shars. But it's already a mood for all animals. Why? Because it go to Hamar, it go to Gamal, it go to Shar three times. Made a mood for everything. No, but then but then when it went, that Shar went and did it other two other Shars. So maybe that middle Shar, you put it Tafka with the two last Shvarim. But it's already but it, when it gored the second Shar, it's already a mood. But then it went and negated that. How did it negate it? It saw By Hamar going in after the middle? Two it went after two shvarim betafka. Now, obviously, it has to be where it saw other animals in between. Otherwise, there's no, otherwise there's no shayla, right? It's it saw one animal. Did it see two animals, three animals in between? If it saw one animal, then it's every other animal. Oh, it's a like we had before. No, but the no, but the question is: is you have this middle, you have this middle. You don't know which way to put it, right? The the seemingly the thing would be is you that put it already. It's more, already, it's more of a right mood. It's more of a muad to other shvarim, right? This is the second oh, shayla. I think your vomit is easier already. This is this is your vomit for animals. Right. <laughs> right? The, se- the second shayla is built on the first shayla. Hey. Right? Meaning, meaning it's without the first shayla, you don't really have the second shayla. Okay, but that's just the start. We got more coming now. Ready? Shabbos, Shabbos, Shabbos. It goes on three Shabbos in a row, and then Echad Shabbos, and then Sheni Shabbos. Then on Sunday and then on Monday. Wow, what's it then? Hi Shabbos, Basraisa, Basra Shabbos, Udushadin Ale. This last Shabbos, meaning the third Shabbos, you put it after the other Shabbos. Vakati the Shabbos Udiyayid, Limasa Cholayayid, and it's a mood for Shabbos and not for Cholay. Dilma Basra Echad Shabbos, Sheni Shabbos, Shadin Ale. You put the middle Shabbos after the after Sunday and Monday, but yeah, like the Kula Yom, and then it's a mood for all days. Yeah? Which we're going to get to. That Even that's not so posh, but that'll be the Gemara's next case after the two dots. Then we, yeah, have we the should animal. open a vest program for animals. Very good. <laughs> wait, wait, wait till the next Gemara, Paris. <laughs> yeah. Hey, sh- hey, the Shabbos, the Erev Shabbos, the Shabbos, 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 right? So now we're going on Thursday. Friday, Shabbos, Shabbos, and Shabbos. Not again, not three on that Shabbos. Three subsequent Shabbos. Ma, what's the din? Ha Shabbos, Kamai, Sabbos, or Heba Shabbos, Erev Shabbos, Shadinale. We put it, uh, we put it for Shabbos and Erev Shabbos. By Yai Lakulu Yom, and then it's a mood for all days. They dilma Ha Shabbos, Kamai, Sabbos, or Shabbos, Shadinale. We put the first Shabbos, um, the first Shabbos with the the uh, other Shabbos, or the Shabbos, or the Yai, and it's a mood for Shabbos. So, Teiku, the Gemara didn't understand, doesn't have a shot. So, therefore, if anybody didn't understand these Shilas, the Gemara didn't understand it. Well, the Gemara understood it, just didn't have a, didn't have an answer. So, maybe that's not a, that's, you're in the same place. You're in the same, same spot if you don't understand these Shilas. Okay. And I was just need that we go in both directions, Lachoma. In Kilkas Nida, do we go in both directions? L'chumra? She sees your base, your gimel, your dollar, your dollar, your dollar. Don't we just say your dollar? 
Uh, I don't remember. I remember it's a machloikis. I don't remember what we come out. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The next case is going to be with Hilchas Nida. Nogach Shor Yoim Tezva B'Chaytish Zeh. If it gored a Shor on the 15th of the month, the Yoim Tezayin B'Chaytish Zeh. And then the next month, it went on the 16th. The Yoim Yudzayin B'Chaytish Zeh. And then the next month, it went on the 17th, right? So basically, it's moving up one day every month. Right. This month it did it on the 15th. Next month it did it on the 16th. Next month it did it on the 17th. Plucked at the Rav Shmuel. This is a Machlaikis in Rav Shmuel and Hilchas Nida. If a woman sees on Tesvav in this month, and the 16th in this month, and on the 17th in this month, Rav Amar Kavala Vest. Rav says that's a vest. Kavua, meaning she's Kaveya Vest and she's moving up one day every month. Shmuel Amar Asher Teshalash Bediluk. Shmuel holds no, you got to see one more month. Meaning three is not enough because you don't count that first month. Right? She would have to go Tezvav, Tezayin, Yudzayin, and Yudches, meaning then she'd be Kaveh I mean, According to all Shittas, if she went four months in a row, Tezayin, Yudzayin, Yudches, Yudtes, that's a vest Kavua, and she's moving up one day every month. Rav holds, you can do this even after three months. You don't need four months. Right? That's what that whole Machlux is based on. So the same thing here by the Shar. Do we say that the Shar is going to be a Muad after three Gorings? That's what Rav would say. And Shmuel would say, no, you need one more month. You need a fourth month in order to get it. Right? Um, I've had a couple of these Shilas, believe it or not, from women moving up one day every month. Yeah, that's it's as strange as it is, but that's... Uh, we do, uh, but that is the, the Shiloh is the other way around. Uh, it's very interesting. What about backwards? Right? Let's say it went Yud Zion this month, last month, Tez Zion, the, la- the next month, Tez Zion, meaning it's going down. Right? So the Shiloh. That turns big... in a flood. It's not any Mesa Both. Both. You may say it will never end. Exactly, Gershon. That's exactly the machlokes. If you do it in the you may say at some point it has to stop. No, Aflog- it doesn't have to stop. Haflaga has to stop. Haflaga has to stop in the month also, but the shalos is a reset in the month before. Do look at Freya. Do look at Freya as a machlokes because at some point, if you're going, if there's a certain amount of days in between, then at some point it's going to be for a period at least. It's not going to have any more days. For an animal, for an animal, it is okay. But anyways, it's quite interesting that we compare um, Vestas to that you would, who would ever think that Vestas by Nida is going to take effect of, of whether we're going to say a shor is a mood or not. Okay, bye. Well, it's back to our shayla of whether the shvarim seeing red is an issue or not. Uh, very good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So Omar Omar did I freeze or did Gershon freeze? Am I good? Okay, You're good. good. Thank you. You're good. Right, thank you. At least for this. Amarov. Shoma calls Shoifer Venagoch. If it hears a call Shoifer and a Gors, call Shoifer Venagoch. And it hears a call Shoifer and a Gors. Call Shoifer Venagoch. And then it hears a call Shoifer and a Gors. Nasa Muad le Shoifers. It becomes a Muad for Shoifers. Right? Meaning, we're going to assume. That the shoifer is what set it off and it went for sugar. So, but if it goes without without a shoifer blowing, then it's not a problem. Maybe this is uh, only on Rosh Hashanah. Uh, okay, yeah, it could be, but maybe that's maybe you mean maybe Rachamim Rosh Hashanah, you wouldn't be able to attribute it to the shoifer. Maybe it's like the Rishami said, because people looking good. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, Tak. You'd have to know. Anyways, it was this Pshita. Somehow the same Ahar Shoifer Kamas, Yuta Baalma, who did not day. No, maybe the first time it heard the Shoifer, that doesn't count towards the, like, it doesn't count towards the Muid, right? Because maybe the first time it heard the Shoifer, it just freaked out. But if it did it another two times, which means another three times, then it would be. So then, so Kamash Malon, that tells us that, no, that the first one counts towards it. Meaning, our Shaila is. Our shaila is is uh, like we had machlokes Rav and Shmuel before when the shor starts moving up one month, right? Tezvav then Tezayin then Yudzayin. Do we count the first month or not? 
So we're saying is that's the same Shaila here. Do you count the first time it gored from the Shaifer? Because maybe the first time it gored, it just, it just was freaking out. Right? Yeah. Okay. I, I, mean, I guess tomorrow's daf actually is pretty easy. So I guess we should stop here. I don't want to go to the Hanukkah Masibas, fundraisers, concerts, Tillin, whatever, challah bakes, whatever it is that you're doing. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. Oh, we got to say right. Tillin. Yeah. 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 I'm to the Glenstein fodder. Are you giving yeah. share of, uh, to women tonight or no? No, no, no share to women tonight. And we expect to see you on share tomorrow morning, Naftali, because it's supposed to rain. If it's rain, I'll be there. If it's not going to rain, I'll be on my bike. What time but that the Hillam thing that you heard that the Hillam thing that you heard about it seems to be tomorrow. I just got a bunch of uh during cheer. My phone went crazy. Tomorrow, ten o'clock, yeah. Yeah. What time is Shir tomorrow? Shir tomorrow should be regular time. Should be regular time. All right, let's say the Tillam. Pay Gimel, yeah. Parrots, I don't know if you could say it in the hot tub. Um <laughs> Shim <laughs> She say money the Vema Kaira because they will never cook the Talmud and call the Sihema. I share Amaru, near Shalano is no Salim. Alayai, she say Makagado, Kakash of Nerua, Kesh to Varyor, Uchlehova, Tolahe Tarim, Kain Tir the Vemba Sarah of the Supasmus of Alem. Alef name Colin Vivaksha Shimkadino, Yevoshu Vibalo Adair, Viach Ruby Yavedu, Viedu Kiata Shimkadino Lavadeho, Eliona Colorets. Achenu Kabes Israel and Sunaba Sar of Shibi, I'm the Vema Yom Vem by Bosha, Makim Rahim Alehem. you're still, you're still by the uh, water park there? I'm not in the water park, but the, the island is in the Whatever, the, the, the place over there. The place. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the place. Uh-huh. Um, I'm about five miles.